time. I uh, tried to stream a little while ago, man, and I was getting all kinds of error. You know, the, the quality wasn't good. So what I tried to do here is uh, basically change the... Uh, I think it might have something to do with the, the 60 frames. So let's try this one here. You know, I'm still doing 1080p. Uh, right now, it's saying my stream health is good. So we'll see how that works. And my phone to see what the quality looks like. Let's see here. It seems to be cool so far. So we'll see. But I think that might be the issue, man. I think it's the 60 frames is what's causing all the problems. Oh, indeed. I'm good foul, but I want him to keep running. All right, so, so far, it looks like the quality is okay. So far. So, again, welcome back to you guys, man, who were attending the first stream. This is my My League. I started over ever since the last patch. I'm playing on Superstar. I started playing on Superstar the patch prior to this one. And I had a fairly decent time. And so we're giving it a try. Normally I don't play on this level. I usually play on All-Star. And most of you guys know the reason why, man. I, I'm, I'm really big on, you know, feeling like the higher you go on difficulty settings in these sports titles, the more the CPU will intervene and you don't get as fair of a challenge. I like a good challenge though so you know if superstar is the way to go now which i'm hearing from a lot of people i'm cool with that it's not about winning and losing it's about having a good time and a fair time you know if i win great but if i lose because the cpu outplayed me or it's a better team then i'm cool with that you know i have no problem with that it caught me in a bad possession right there you know, I have no problem with that. My only problem I have with video games is when you clearly see that you're being cheated because of the difficulty level. So as you can see right now, you know, we're winning this game. Oh, nice move by nice move by Westbrook there. Good put back. And what you do find, man, I even find this on all Madden. Uh and you know, when playing Madden, the AI is a lot better on the higher diff levels but like I said you have to find that balance of where it's not cheating you you know what I mean Hey, get a shot there we go MB let's go to work but like I said man I started playing on Superstar on the, the last patch before this most recent one where they were saying that there was some tuning done to all I mean, I keep saying all mad. There was tuning done to um, Hall of Fame and Superstar. And like I said, it played well. You know, I actually have a, a stream or a, a video, one of the two. I don't know if it was a stream or if it was just a live comp that I did showing you guys that I won playing on Superstar. And the game played very well. It went down to the wire. Um, so, oh, my man's open. That's usually money. Ah! But, um... You know, we'll see how, how it feels. You know, I'll, I'll give it about 10 to 15 games. You know, I'm not one of those people who make uh, rash decisions so fast. Like, you know, they play one game and then they're ready to quit. I'll play about 10 games and make sure it's, it's feeling good and consistent. And if it is, this is where we'll stay. You know, if not, you know, I have no problem going back down to um, All-Star if I have to. Look at them B getting busy. And B going to work, baby. But y'all let me know. How's the quality, man? Oh. Ah. How's the quality, man? How's it looking on everybody's end? Looks seems to look okay on my on my side from what I see here. Yeah. So I think what it was, man, I really think it was the the 60 frames. I think that's what it was. What up, Millennium? What's going on with you, man? Let me see. What you say? You wouldn't mind me getting blown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up yeah, evening out the sliders. Took all of the user sliders and moved them up to what the CPU was. Felt their shooting was better than mine. 
Oh, okay. And this was on Superstar, right? So you know what? Let's let's do that real quick. Let's see if we can do that right now if it allows us to. Uh, let's see. So CPU is forty right there. So we're all right. Forty-three. I think this one was forty-three as well. All right, everything else is the same until you get here. Pass accuracy. Uh, 55. Alright, this changes to 55. Alright. And you just talk about, like, uh, everything? Or you just talk about, like, the tendencies? Yeah, I guess we would change everything. So both of these are 65 for the CPU. Alright. So when we get here, everything is the same. Everything is the same. Except for there, what's the defensive awareness? Alright. So as you can see guys, it changes it to custom once you do that. But the basis is still superstar. So that's cool. We'll go ahead and save that. Real quick. I like how you can save this stuff in game. Um, I don't know what it's doing right now. No, oh, what is it doing? Oh, I might be hitting the wrong button. No, I hit save slider. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know what it's doing right here. But anyway, we'll bounce out of there. Let's make sure it did save for the most part. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're good to go. But, yeah, as you can see, guys, it will change the custom. But your basis is superstar, and appreciate it, Millennium, for giving me that little piece of feedback there. Um, and it should still play relatively decent. You know, it's, it should still be playing on the superstar level. The only thing that we've actually done is we've changed the sliders to kind of mimic the CPU. Um, what I was saying is I do like that you can change that in game, in a lead game. You notice when you play Madden, you can't change the sliders to that effect once you're in game so i give 2k a lot of credit there smitty what up smitty mm, you hear you hear my little man calling your name he used to talking to you on the hangout um yeah the quality was crazy man before because i had about 20 something minutes of this game started but i it's, it's because of the 60 frames and i think wi-fi is not able to handle that for some reason mason stop on on the uh playstation anyway for some reason guys i don't know y'all can tell me if y'all had the same problem for some reason man the consoles don't seem to handle wi-fi that great i don't understand why i really don't Daddy, get it yeah no we don't have any so as you can see guys a pretty good score man you know i can't be can't be upset about what I'm seeing here. <laughs> yeah, the 60 frames goes crazy, man, on Wi-Fi. I've been able to do it pretty well when I'm hardwired. You know, even though my the title says Man Cave Streaming, I'm not down in the Man Cave tonight. I'm never usually in when I have him with me because, I, you know, I allow him to watch the TV as I'm using my, um, the little games, you know, uh, gaming monitor. Kind of kill two birds and one stone. But, yeah, if I'm hardwired, I'm, I'm good money. You know, I'm, it's usually pretty well does pretty well even if i'm playing an online opponent like when i'm streaming madden but that uh, the 60 frames ain't is, is nobody's friend <laughs> on wi-fi it's crazy oh i need you to cut though why didn't he cut and then he misses the shot this is see this is the stuff that we be talking about Y'all know how I get down, man. You know, Smitty do the same thing in his stream. This is the stuff I'm talking about. I need these games, man, 
my my two favorite sports games that I can honestly say is is Madden and NBA 2K. These are the games that I want to play the most that I because that's why I have the most knowledge. I have I'm having a phenomenal time playing FIFA and NHL, but I'm not as knowledgeable about those sports. But this right here, this is what we talk about when y'all hear us talk about individual AI. And let me get to this guy here. I want I, I need video games. Hopefully they can get to this point one day. Who knows? I need my man to recognize the situation. Who was that? Sorry? No, that's Stauskas. Recognize the situation, man. If you cut to the paint, look, Embiid is looking at you to get you to rock. I need you to cut right there. That's an easy bucket. If not, if these two guys converge, say these two guys converge down, then you got the kick out right here. See what I'm saying? And these are the tests that we run, man. Is we, you know, we run these tests ourselves to see is it the difficulty level, or is it just the way the game's foundation is? Because what generally happens in these sports titles, woo! Net it. If, if that wasn't Russell Westbrook, what generally happens in these titles, man, is the higher you go on difficulty, a lot of times some those things start to happen again. You know what I mean? Those things start happening at a more consistent rate. Ben Simmons, man. This, why is he always out there? Let's go. Let's go get that back. What are you doing? Stop. Do you have to use the bathroom? No. So why do you keep taking your pajamas down? Yeah, but don't worry about that. That looked like Russell. That looked like Russell to me. Don't watch me get this five seconds while I'm trying to help my son button his pajamas. Hold on, mate. He's very active tonight, guys. He had a late, and Smitty would know what, what I'm talking about here because his, his daughter, my niece, she's a, you know, she's a young one as well. He had a late late nap so you know he, he's wide open right now let's go Ben Simmons let's eat yeah I believe that too Smith the foundation something about the foundation has to be a little bit out of whack and it's, it's what we always say in the difficulty levels tend to allow these things to play out you know on a more consistent basis that's what we generally find out guys when we do our tests in these sports titles you know we can't say that we're 100 percent correct on that but the eye test will tell you that all right let me get let me get ben simmons involved here all right let's see Ah, <laughs> let's look at that. Was that me or was that the game? I should have hit him a little earlier. I'm trying to hit him right now. Okay, okay. I ain't mad at that one. Adams is, is watching me, so I'm not too mad at that one. That was actually a, a good player AI right there. Oh, come on. The rebound. Okay. I'm going to try not to keep going in the replay, guys, but y'all know how I do. But I have to still apologize to y'all. Come on now. This, now this right here. Look at Ben Simmons. <laughs> Are you serious? And look, this is what makes it worse. Look at this. If, I, if, if they'll show it. Nah, they, they won't show it. I'm user controlling him, and I couldn't move. I was on Ben Simmons. You got to be kidding me, man. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, my wife a little more. Dang, I was trying to get Elliot Silver open. There you go. There you go.
Oh, he's wide open. Oh, he missed it though. No miss. Y'all see, I selected motion cuts and ain't nobody moving. Oh, Rodriguez, I need. Hold on, man. Let's look at this again. Now, some people might say I'm a nitpicking. Watch Rodriguez. Check this out. Now, that looked like it was going to be a great play. Now, why don't he keep rolling? See, this is what this is what I'm saying. Why is it that he rolled? See, it's like the pass location is crazy. It's almost like what we say about Madden. It's like it's tied together, right? Because look at how when MB throws it, look. It's like a synchronized interaction here. I want him to stay going to the outside. I'm not trying to throw him into the basket because that's what Russell is at. So naturally, I would think this, he would stay on the outside. See, it's almost like he turns his position right now when I have the ball to cut into. Nobody cuts into the basket like that when a man is on him. I mean, come on. You would stay on the outside, catch it on the outside, and lay it up. You wouldn't, you wouldn't take yourself into the middle of the paint when you have a defender in your face. And then, of course, you know, you get the clipping and warping. That happens in every game. But those are the little things, man, that, that I look at. And, again, it's a video game. I understand that, folks. But, you know, these are the things that we talk about when we say, you know, games are so close but still so far away. Nice play right there by Russ. Those are the little things that we're talking about. Little AI moments and stuff like that. You know what I mean? 2K could be such a wonderful game. I mean, it could be, it could truly be the best game ever made in terms of a, a video, a sports video game or a basketball video game. But they still need to overcome those little situations like that because it's killers. Those are killers, man. Because those things happen at the wrong moment. And then when it happens, you know, you're looking at it like, Let's go. I'll just say that's money right there. You know, they happen in killer moments, man, where you have to look at the game like, come on, really? Because <laughs> sometimes those are things that could contribute to you losing a game. It happened at those moments. All right, let's run it, baby. Let's run a smart play. Because I don't... I don't had plays for everybody in this lineup. This particular lineup, I usually go to Okafor or, or uh, Covington. I usually my money man. Ah, held the ball too long. See, I ain't mad at that. That was my fault. They went for the steal and they got it on the big man. That was clearly my fault. That was clearly my fault. I can't be mad at that one. See, every now and then the game plays out very well. I want some daddy. No, young man, you can't have any tea. You're already wired. So if I gave you caffeine, I don't know what would happen. What the? <laughs> Y'all see that pass? What kind of speed was on it? But the see, I mean, the user can't get a fast pass like that when you want. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, you can't see the uh, the user can never get a, a pass that fast. Look at that! Look, see? Why would they float that pass right there? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on, man! That's the stuff I'm talking about, folks. The game goes crazy every now and then. Come on, draw the defense and get Covington open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I threw that up on a prayer, but it worked.
Covington is my guy, man. He he shoots that rock. Oh, come on. Okay, he missed it. All right, slow it down, fellas. Let's get some more motion cut. Well, let's space the floor a little bit. Dang, I saw you, Covington. I saw you late, though. Go right up. You got it. Oh, come on, baby. You got to make that. I haven't really made any adjustments in this game. I'm sure you guys have paid note, paid, uh, took notice to that, paid attention to that. I haven't made any adjustments so far. Oh, come on. We got to stop that. We got to get these guys to box out. Yeah, I'm going to have to check him out, too. I've seen a couple of his videos before. Appreciate that. Well, let's make some adjustments, man. I like to do them uh, here. Uh, no, not here. This ain't what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? I'll wait till the time out. <coughs> but, um, yeah, it's, I've seen some other people say that too. There's some things that 2K has done that, um, not everybody, you know, not everybody has figured out. And you know, sometimes that's how it be, man. Games don't always go into detail. They're, a lot of times they don't have time. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> we was right there in position to make a play, man. Oh, that's he's open. Ah, oh, how did he miss that bad? I must have rushed his shot. But y'all see why I like to cut off the meter and make you learn the shot? And make you have to really, you know, know what you're doing? Instead of relying on that daggone meter? I just like that realism to me. And it to me, it helps me shoot by looking at the person instead of subconsciously, you know, subconsciously going into there looking at the meter. You know, that's just me personally. Get open, fellas. Get open. Bad series. Bad series. But well, my man, my boys were standing around. Nobody was trying to get open. There we go. Come up with the ball. Slow it down. You know you can't handle the rock like that. Cut! Noel, I need you to run, baby! Of course. Of course they're not going to let me get that. <laughs> I tell you, man. Oh, look at this. He gets the rebound. I tell you, man. The, the pass deflections by the CPU is too good sometimes in this game. Way too good, in my opinion. All right, let's see. This right here too, man. It's taking me so long to figure this out. But I, I kind of, I kind of figured it out somewhat. Uh, smother him. Uh, I make him go to the middle. still some other things I wanted to adjust to like uh where is it 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 there we go crash the board 
I'm running that drive cam, baby. I'll show it to y'all. It's been my cam for years. There it is right there. Drive cam, one and one. Zoom in the key. And everything else on default. Love this camera. You know, I used to be a 2K camera guy, but as soon as that drive cam hit the scene, I said, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta have that. There we go. There we go. But either way, however this turns out, guys, this this game plays out very well. And this is on Superstar. You know, with those minor adjustments that uh, Millennium OS hooked me up with. You know, very minor adjustments if you guys was... Oh, wow. If you guys was watching when I did that. And I can show you that, you know, you guys that at the end of the game as well. Very minor changes. But, you know, this is a relatively good game. You know, I, I can't even really be mad at how it's playing out. Come on, man. These guys miss way too many close layups, too. Way too many of those. And I understand, you know, they, you know the whole shot and timing thing is in there now, but... I still think the percentage of those misses like that, that close to the rim, is, is ridiculous. And I'm not expecting them to make everything, but, you know, come on. Alright, so it's getting out of hand now, guys. They up by seven. So we're going to have to uh, make some adjustments here. Here in a minute. If they oh, come on. Lord, have mercy. But, um... Yeah, you know, part of this is on me. You know, like I uh, continue to tell everybody in my streams, I'm I'm not that good a 2K player. You know, so, oh, of course. The computer always gets those calls, too. Always. Way more than the user. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. But, um, you know, I, I'm not that great a 2K player. So it, it, some of this could be me. <laughs> you know, not making the proper adjustments or what have you. But uh, let's see what happens here. See, I'm tired of these phantom calls, man. There's no body con Where's the body contact? Because the whistle was already blown before this happened. So I guess they're going to call. He still ain't touching. You see what I'm saying? But you know, that's, that's video game stuff. But to me, it still happens on a too high of an efficiency rate for the computer. I mean, you always, it's always a foul. Anytime you can test a shot, it's generally a foul. It shouldn't be like that. So now we probably ain't going to hit no shots at this, this point of the game. But that's how I get. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> You don't miss your man, guys don't miss that many shots like that, D. <laughs> Come on. These dudes are professionals, man. Why did they stop me? What was that? Stop me. You sleepy? You look like you're sleepy. You ready to go night night? Well, that's how you looking. Well, I can't be too mad. We got three out of that deal, but I was trying to dunk it. Maybe it was something I did, but I definitely was trying to dunk the ball. That's money. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> I do like the way the, the ball bounces off of the basket. In this game, man. They, they did a great job. Because remember, that was one of the things that they talked about. He not going to make that. Ben Simmons ain't making that. Let's go. Let's go. That's something Ben Simmons can do right there is pass. But, yeah, that was one of the things that they mentioned. You know, prior to launching the game that, you know, how the ball bounces and the different, you know, animations for bouncing off of the rim. That, I could definitely say that's something that I am seeing much more in this game. 
and it's those little details man 2k nails details it just makes the game look that much better that much more authentic you, know, you you can't you can't deny those type of things how did Ola Depot get that rebound? I had two people down there. Oh, come on, MB got caught up. Nice AI by um, Ola Depot right there. You know what? Let's get a timeout. I need to get a timeout and get my starters back in here. I should have did this a long time ago. But I need to get, well, not necessarily the starters, but it's different, a different personnel I want in here. Uh, let me see. Actually, let me go this way since Daddy. I called the timeout. Daddy. Yes. I want a Christmas. You want Christmas? No, I want a Christmas. Oh, yeah, I see. Go sit down right there, okay? Uh, we actually gonna get Bayless back in here because he can shoot the three ball. Uh, let's put Noel back in there and be and who we gonna put at the two? Uh, let's put Henderson in there. What's wrong with that lineup? What happened? Oh, I didn't hit the right button. Oops, my bad. Alright, put Nerlens in there. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. At the next dead ball. <coughs> there we go. Let's do it. Good fine. Good fine. Yo, is it a coincidence or it seems like dudes are cutting more when Simmons has the ball in his hand? Almost like the game recognizes the fact that he's a good passer or something. I mean, I could be reaching there, but it definitely seems like... Oh, wow. We left him wide open. Oh, man. That hurt us. And that bum ain't never do that when he was on my, my Sixers squad. In real life, Grant ain't never hit no threes like that. make him do a jump shot I was trying to lay that in the step through so every now and then man you don't get the right animation and you know you just have to take that on the chin but like I said man this y'all let me know real quick while I still had the chat going in the stream y'all let me know how did this play out did this look pretty decent you know obviously it looks like I'm probably gonna lose this one but I could deal with this I mean, we, we're playing a better team, realistically. And, you know, they're, they're winning right now by eight. I could take that, you know. that That's fine with me. I'm not, like, overly upset or anything like that. Wow, we got saved right there because they caught me in a bad possession. Extremely bad possession. Hit Simmons. Ah, oh, come on. How didn't he sneak the pass in there, man? So, like I said, this game is over. I can deal with it. You know, playing a better team. I'm not mad at that. I didn't feel too cheated by the game. Oh, Lord, yeah. Playing against Kyrie is a problem, bro. A problem. Stop. You sleep? Then go sit down. Yeah, Kyrie is a problem. That's the ball game, guys. That was pretty good. Wow. 
That's crazy. <laughs> the computer's trolling us, man. But yeah, man, we'll take a look at uh What was we taking a look at? I don't even remember what I was about to do. We'll look at the box score and stuff like that. And let you know exactly what I'm doing. Running on seven minute quarters, as you guys can see, I got the simulated quarters on seven minutes as well. But this didn't turn out too bad, man. I mean, it got out of hand down the stretch. But like I said, man, I'm going to give it about a 10 to 15 game trial. Um, hopefully it holds up. Um, because one thing you do have to recognize, man, some people don't, don't try to recognize these things. You know, these sports games, it's a lot of stuff that they're trying to replicate. Um, not only are they trying to replicate the real, you know, real world gameplay, but they got to replicate the differences in teams. You know, so when you play a stronger team or a team that's better than you or got better personnel, a lot of times they got a better chance to win. So looking at Russell Westbrook, that looks like a Russell Westbrook game for the most part. 22 points, 3 assists, 2 rebounds. You know, Oladipo dropped 12, and then you got three other guys that dropped a good 9 points. You know, that's pretty good. On my squad, you know, Joel Embiid is the only one. 14 points. Ben Simmons had 11 but then everybody else is under nine points, you know, so it's not going to be a winning effort. Uh, let's see. Do the team comparisons here. We shot 55%. They had 54. Uh, Three-point range. Nobody really had a great game. Free throws. They edged us by 9%. Points in the paint. We actually edged them there. They edged us in the fast break points. And bench points, we actually got a bigger contribution from the bench. But when your main player, being um, uh, Westbrook, when he scores 22, I mean, I guess there ain't much for their bench to have to do. <coughs> Defensive rebounds is where they beat us at, as well as offensive rebounds. So if you look at the rebound category, we definitely lost that battle. They have more steals. We have more blocks. Uh, turnovers. And, yeah, so there it is. Time of possession. We edged them out a little bit there. So there you have it, guys. So let me, again, back out of here and show you guys the upcoming schedule or what have you. And the next games that I got coming my way. Nah, I ain't never played on four-minute quarters. That's, that's way too short for me. You know, I try to find a good balance. So we got the Hawks coming up next. But I try to find a good balance, man, of, you know, where the game doesn't feel extremely long and it's not extremely short. So seven to eight minutes is generally where I like to play at. But, you know, most of you guys have played this game. And in case you haven't, all of this stuff, man, that they have in this game, I'm not going to go through it all, but this is by far my favorite right now my favorite career mode in any sports game. I'm really loving this game. I mean, I'm just loving all of the depth that it has. I mean, even in practice, like when you look at coaching, you know, you got your game plan, you got your live practice freestyle, you got the live practice scrimmage, edit the playbooks, all of that jazz, your expansion stuff, front office stuff. I mean, I'm not showing you stuff that you guys, you know, is not out the norm. But look at all of the scouting stuff. <clears throat> you know, Madden CFM needs all of this stuff, man. The training is just, and it, it not, it's not so much that Madden lacks in as far as the basics. But I'm talking about the depth of it. You know, having scouts and all of that stuff. You need all of that stuff in Madden. You know what I'm saying? You know, having different areas where you can scout from, like the, the mock drafts and the big boards and all of that kind of stuff, player comparison, team compare, all of this stuff, man. Team intel. You see what I'm saying? You look at all of this stuff, you just don't have it. You know, you definitely don't have 
all of that stuff. But here's one of the biggest things to me. I'm trying to get back to it. It might be here. Okay, right here. This is one of the biggest things to me that I love about this game. Again, that Madden just doesn't have. Look at all of the different things that's going on here. You know, his ambition, stats, of course, all of the attributes. Then he has individual grades, which is another system I would like to see Madden adopt. But then look at this. You know, you have the graph of his skills. You got all the tendencies. And this is the number one thing. Badges. When you talk about player traits, this is it, man. You know, Madden needs a plethora of these. You know what I mean? It starts separating players, right? But then look at all this other stuff. You got the awards, contract info, all of that. And game highs. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All of this stuff, man. It's just... It's so deep. And I'm just showing y'all a piece of it. But here's one of my biggest, absolute biggest things that I need to see the Madden team adopt. Which they actually had this in head coach 09. Look at the injury system. You got his body. And you got the risk of injury for each specific area. Can you imagine having this in a football game? You know what I'm saying? And you look, the season fatigue, having that progressive fatigue in a football game where wear and tear, you know, you sending the guy out there, look at my man's ankles ain't that good. So the more I overexert him, you know, I would like to see him have more stress on that leg. Now, I don't know exactly how 2K system is set up in terms of replicating that. But again, think about having it in football. You know, I get to scrambling around in the pocket with a quarterback that's got a bum knee. I might add insult to injury if I keep doing it or he runs out. Or think about RG3 when he got hurt way back when. Or even this year, you know, his shoulder whatever won't feel good. He tried to stay out there, got hit in it again, and he just couldn't go anymore. Imagine getting those type of situations. So, like I said, I'm just showing y'all the tip of the iceberg, man, but... This stuff here, man, look, the wear and tear is letting you know exactly. This is what I'm talking about, man. We need this. Yes. No, you can't have any juice late tonight right now. It's too late, okay? Then you got his shot chart. And it's just all of this stuff, his morale. You, come on, man. This is my favorite mode right now, guys. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I may be back later, maybe not, but if not, appreciate everybody watching. And for those who are currently not sub, make sure you do that and make sure you hit that like button. All right, guys, catch y'all later. Peace.